This is a quick video to go over the Neo Lock Inquisitor IC tester. This is uh, targeted primarily at older ICs such as used in vintage computers and uh, it has what they call the core module which is a power supply with plus 5 and plus 12 volts uh, two line LCD display buttons for up down left right and enter or test um, a IO chip from a microcontroller a 40 pin ZIF socket and a power switch and some status LEDs there's a couple LEDs down here that indicate something's wrong with the uh, plug-in circuit board which is called the blade either it's not plugged in or it's plugged in incorrectly or backwards the other uh, LED indicates a power supply malfunction and then there's a bicolor LED which indicates orange for testing green for passed, red for failed and then the rest of it more detailed uh, information can be obtained from the LCD display um, it's powered by a regulated or unregulated uh, power supply the package does come with a small uh, switching wall wart supply regulated 12 volts and since I am using a regulated power supply there's a jumper there to disable the onboard 12 volt regulator if I had an unregulated supply or one with a different voltage I would move the jumper to engage that regulator uh, so at this time there are four different I'm sorry three different blades and a fourth one under development this is the static RAM blade as a uh, microcontroller on it with the uh, ROM programmed and a IO expander chip and the necessary uh, hardware in this case some transistors a read relay some other bits and pieces uh, for that type of device uh, there's a similar one for the 4116 series DRAMs or dynamic RAMs. There's a charge pump to produce a, another voltage for the dynamic RAMs and three read relays on this all for interfacing requirements. And then uh, the third currently available uh, blade is for it says here 6821 PIAs but it actually does several different PIAs and VIAs uh, both from Motorola and MOS technology at least. I think it pretty much covers the popular ones that were used on uh, computers such as Commodores and so on. And uh, there is also um, another one that does some other types of uh, interface chips that's in the works and due to come out soon. Anyway, so the way this works is you pick the type of blade for the type of chip you're trying to test and I have here a 4044 TMS 4044 static RAM chip it's um, 1K by 1 bit I believe and this came out of my Heathkit H8 I don't know if it's a good one or a bad one and to find out I take the static RAM blade plug it in drop the IC into the ZIF socket lock it down and um, turn on the power switch get the selected test the 4044 is not specifically mentioned in here but it's essentially the same as the 2147 and I've already got that one selected here but by using the left and right arrows all sorts of different types and there's even a thing here for the LED if you prefer the colors to be flipped on the status LED you can do that and it'll save it uh, that also can compensate if the LED was installed backwards Anyway, so I go forward here, got 2101s, 5101s, 2016s, 2018s, 2114s, etc. 
2125, 2147, which is what I've got here in the equivalent 4044 chip. So uh, right now, none of my alarm lights are on. Power lights on to the adapter blade, and the status LED is off. I push the enter button, and it's testing the RAM. It's kind of hard to tell in this camera, but this LED is glowing orange, letting me know it's testing. Now this is just doing a simple once through test. This can be set up to do more elaborate tests and repeated tests any number of times. It's giving me good and bad. And it says, hey, it's okay. And the LED changed to green. So that's a simple one through test, but that's basically how it works. Now I can use the down arrows to get more statistics. It's a 2147. I've tested it twice actually, once before this video and once now. I got two good tests on it, zero bad tests. One scan per test. And for this particular test that's the only information it will give me, but that's pretty much the way it works for any type of chip that this can uh, test.